at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the guns fell silent on the Western Front to bring to an end the First World War. Our nation and Commonwealth has recalled that moment through our armistice and remembrance events down the decades. Decades during which the men and women of our armed services have continued to pay the ultimate sacrifice. And so, more than a hundred years later, we stand here today to remember lives sacrificed in the service of our country and those traumatised and injured in conflict. May we have such a devotion to justice and freedom that the heroism of all who fought and still fight may continue to be remembered in a nation of service and in a world of peace. My Boy Jack was written by Rudyard Kipling. His only son John died at the Battle of Lewes in 1915. This poem was written for Jack Cornwell who died at the Battle of Jutland in 1916. He is the youngest ever recipient of the Victoria Cross. Jack represents all of those who went to war and never returned home. Have you any news of my boy Jack? Not this time. When do you think he'll come back? Not with this wind blowing and this tide. Has anyone else had word of him? Not this tide, for what is sunk will hardly swim, not with this wind blowing and this tide. Oh dear, what comfort can I find? None this tide, nor any tide, except he did not shame his kind, not even with that wind blowing and that tide. Then hold your head up all the more, this tide and every tide, because he was the son you bore, and gave to that wind blowing and that tide. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Will you join me in two minutes silent contemplation?
Girls of Tarbert Academy will now lay flowers at the monument to commemorate the fallen, especially my boy Jack. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for our tomorrow, you gave your today. <laughs>